Hello and welcome to Block Spotlight with me, the least happy one, aka Mr. Surrett. Today we'll be looking at the Rock Crusher. Rock Crusher is a railcraft machine. Not a cheap machine though. Not for early uh, game anyway. You need four diamonds in the outer middle, four pistons in the corners and a block of steel in the middle. Now pistons, vanilla Minecraft, most people should know how to make those, just put up the top, iron ingot in the middle, redstone in the bottom middle and then cobblestone around that. The steel block though is steel ingots in all spots, all spaces. To make a steel ingot you need to put iron ingot through the blast furnace. The blast furnace itself not being cheap or easy to make which just makes the recipe that tiny little bit more difficult. Now, mm, excuse me, for each recipe you get four rock crusher blocks. Now the reason, whoa, go away. The reason being is it actually takes six, not six, twelve uh, six then six more on top in order to make this machine like railcraft it's a uh, several blocks together make the one entity in this case the rock crusher so you get four for that recipe obviously that means you need three times that so yeah it can take a while to have What's the point of it? Well, let's have a quick little look. This is the input. Things go in. This is the process uh, bar, I guess. It'll slowly tick across. And this is your output, where, well, you can't put in and cobblestone wouldn't turn into cobblestone anyway. This here is your power bar. It does use MJ or Minecraft jewels, so if you've got Buildcraft installed, it will connect up to Buildcraft power, which is what I'm running it off. I'm actually, running it off uh, redstone energy conduits and energy cells. So there's the power bar. It uses 15 micron joules per process, per tick. If we click on it, you can see the uses. One of the main uses for railcraft is turning obsidian into obsidian dust. It's only a 25% chance of turning obsidian into obsidian dust. Each obsidian will turn into crushed obsidian, which will turn into obsidian dust. So you may have to put it through twice. The use of obsidian dust is to make your reinforced rail. Now the rock crusher will do a lot more than that though. Most blocks most blocks that are made from cobblestone vanilla Minecraft can be put through the rock crusher. You can also put in well there's 40 pages of this so there's 80 recipes all up. Uh, your blast furnace blocks, coke oven blocks. Now they don't give back the exact recipe, the exact ingredients used in the recipe, but they do give back some of it, so it may be a way of making back your ingredients if you needed them. And you'll notice there's a chance, so there's a 75% chance of soul sand, 5% blaze powder, and 75 for nether brick in this particular recipe. Some things like the coke oven, you do have a 100% chance of getting 3 brick, 25% chance of getting uh, sand and another 50% chance of getting a fourth brick. World Anchor, again, much the same, 50% chance of getting four gold nuggets, 100% chance of getting 16 gold nuggets, so, yep, 100% chance of getting crushed obsidian from that as well. A lot of people use the rock crusher to get rid of all their excess cobblestone. It breaks down to flint and gravel. Now gravel itself 
breaks down to sand with a less than 1% chance of turning to gold nuggets or diamonds. I've had a rock crusher running on one of my uh, let's plays for probably about four days now. I've got about seven gold nuggets and not a single diamond so it's running constantly. So it's very rare to get the diamond but it's a way of getting rid of cobblestone. I've seen quite a few people do it. Uh, I won't go through all these recipes but you get the idea. Brick block brick will 100% chance of getting three and a 50% chance of breaking even on it so it also does work like a macerator so you can put things through there like your glowstone block will become three glowstone dust with a 75% chance of getting your money back your bones will become bone meal four of so you make a little bit not as much as other machines blaze rods much the same but here's, here it is your ores now they will turn into two ore dust so just like your pulverizer or your macerator so they all turn into two which can be you know, another way of another way of putting your ores through a little bit quicker than uh, just having the one other machine running. Iridium ore, that's always a good one, getting two from it. So yeah, that's a quick little look at it. Now, the rock crusher can be connected up to minecarts, or obviously being railcraft, or you can pipe it out. We'll just whack something up here, what have we got? Cobblestone again. For the input input uh, window, not really a slot, it's more a window, any spot at the top, the whole machine, although it's made up of 12 blocks, it acts as a single entity, much like a large chest or just about any of the other major machines from Railcraft. So any, any spot at the top here can be hooked up and it will work, it will go in any of the top. To bring it out any of the side you do need your uh, wooden transport pipes to bring it out. So there's your cobblestone going through turning into gravel, it's quite a quick machine turning it into gravel and flint oh, inventory is quite full we put the gravel back through. Not likely to get to get the uh, a diamond straight up <laughs> or a gold one on screen, but it does use a fair bit of MJ of power. But it's quite an expensive recipe anyway, so you can see them all going through there. Quite an expensive recipe. So by this time, you're probably running it off a magmatic engines or something like that a magma crucible if you're using your feed the beast or your build craft but anyway that's a quick little look at the rock crusher hopefully it answered some of your questions if it did hit like subscribe and leave a comment and i will see you in the next spotlight bye bye